Welcome back. A couple that works out together stays together. And here to tell us why is relationship expert Marina Sprocky. Welcome. Hi Thanks. Thanks for joining us. So tell me, if a couple wants to work out together, what's the first thing they should do? Well, first you need to find something that you both like together. So there are tons and tons of sports and activities. So you want to sit down with your partner, make a list. There's golf, tennis, hiking, biking, spin class, yoga. So figure out together what you want, um, find something and then you actually need to schedule it. You want to make a date for it. And you don't have to commit to work out five days a week together, but maybe one or two and put it on your calendar, say Friday at one, we're gonna to meet together. And then um, you might want to think of a reward, something to motivate you. So let's say we both need to lose 10 pounds. So we're gonna say, okay, we've got 60 days to lose 10 pounds. If we both do that, we're gonna to go to dinner at a fancy restaurant. Well, isn't a reward that you both have lost 10 pounds? Well, that would reward yourself even bigger. You I know? got you. You get that, but just something extra to motivate you. Maybe you don't really want to do the hard work to lose the 10 pounds. So maybe if that a fancy dinner or a couple's massage or new clothes might motivate you. So find something motivating for you. Okay, cool. And we all know the health benefits of exercise. I'm not going to even touch that. We, we all accept that. But what's different when a couple wants to work out together? What are some of the considerations? Well, what I call it is you get twice the health benefits because you're working out together. So you all know that um, people that exercise live longer. So you exercise together, you both live longer. Mm -hmm. And the more you work out, the better it is, the stronger your heart gets. So when you work out together, not only is your heart growing stronger, your heart and your love grow stronger together. So it sounds like there's an emotional benefit as well. I definitely think so. How does so how how does how does how does a couple emotionally benefit from well, exercising together? Lots and lots <laughs> of ways. So one of the first big ones is the motivation factor. So maybe in the morning, you know, one couple do, or one party doesn't want to get up and they don't feel like working out. The other partner can say, "Oh, come on, come on, you can do it. It's just one hour. It's just one hour. We're going to go do it." They can kind of nudge you along, mm -hmm. or maybe you might feel you don't want to let your partner down. So that's kind of a little bit motivating in and of itself. You know that they're counting on you, so you want to be there for them. That level of account. Ability. Exactly. Uh -huh. It is also very good for relaxation. When you exercise, it brings chemicals in your body that help you relax. There are it's the confidence issue. When you work out and then you achieve goals, so maybe you see you lose your first five pounds, that builds your confidence, right. that helps you move forward. Forward momentum. Exactly. <laughs> there is a de-stressing benefit. So the same chemicals that help you relax also help you de-stress. And everybody knows the less stress in a relationship, the better you are. Mm -hmm. Working out, it also helps for less depression. Mm -hmm. So people that work out, studies show, report less rates of depressions than people that don't work out. There are also several studies that show that working out on a regular basis will beat out antidepressants for some people. So I'm so. aware of that. And what's even, I think, most interesting is that just light aerobic exercise, I believe the study was three times a week, about 20 minutes just cycling, actually got people who had drug-resistant depression to respond. So I think that's pretty amazing. Now, mm -hmm. I want to shift gears, though, okay. to a different hormone other than the ones that you mentioned, oxytocin, the love. The love hormone. The love that's hormone. Any benefits in the bedroom? There are. <laughs> there are some great benefits. So um, one being when you work out, you can help create the physique you want. When you have the physique you want, you feel sexier. That translates to the bedroom. Sure. Um, there's the flexibility issue. So you do things like yoga and stretching. You're more flexible. You know, the more flexible you are, the more... I'm not going to ask for the details. The more positions we'll just, you can get yeah, into. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll say that. We'll just say that it's, it, the flexibility is good. Flexibility is right? yeah. good. <laughs> and then um, we'll go a little bit deeper to the bonding issue. So yeah. when you work out together, you're spending time, you're bonding. Bonding. The more you bond together, that bond translates to the bedroom. Um, there's the sweat factor, too. So, you know, <laughs> you work out, you get really sweaty, and maybe a little reward, you can come home from the gym and take a shower together and wash away that sweat. Right. Um, there is also, it shows that um, men who exercise regularly report less rates of sexual dysfunction. So, if you don't want anything to go wrong in the bedroom, probably should exercise. Absolutely. And this is something that I really stress for male clients at our gym is that Look, it, it's good to look good. It's 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 good to you know feel good about yourself, the confidence and all. But blood flow is crucial, and many men turn to drugs in order to get you know what they call male enhancement. The truth of the matter is that exercise alone yields a lot of those benefits. Exactly, free enhancement. <laughs> so now let's talk about everybody else. Uh, you know, just very quickly, the rest of the family. Do they benefit from? 
Oh, of course they do. When your children watch you work out, you are being a positive role model. You're showing them the health benefits and also just the fun of exercise. And there's so much obesity in this country today that exercising together can help combat those. So you know the family that plays together stays together. So you want to be a good role model for your kids and you can do things together as a family. You can play tennis together. You can go biking together. You can go for a run together. You can throw a football in the yard. There are tons and tons of things to do. And you will also give your children, you know, memories that are going to last a lifetime. When you do fun things together, that's going to give them better self-esteem and just great memories for the future. I, I couldn't agree more, especially, you know, I'm somebody who is a huge advocate of combating childhood obesity. I think getting the family to team up and do this all together is a, is a great thing. Thank you so much. Those were all incredible tips.